Hey everyone, uh, this is Janita. I am going to vlog about my experience going to Marion Island in January 2021. When we go on holiday and we go on trips, we take thousands of photographs and we do lots of videos. But um, it is January 2020 now and um, booking this trip to go to Marion Island has so far been a very exciting experience and I thought um, I will then try and vlog about it to help others who might want to consider doing it in the future um, if and when there are other trips that um, become available for a similar experience. Okay, so we've taken this bold step to join the crew of BirdLife Africa to go 2,000 kilometers south of Africa on a cruise liner, this time it's the MSC Opera, uh, to a trip uh, to Marion Island where we are going to support a fundraiser of how to get rid of all the mice that have infested the island and that are eating the birds and their chicklets alive. Um, it's quite a process, but basically uh, they're going to be, um, they need 30 million rand. And then over a space of a month, they are going to be dropping pellets uh, in a very controlled way all over the island. And then the people are going to um, monitor the drops uh, with radar and GPS exactly as to where they've dropped the pellets and uh, then two weeks later they will do a second drop hopefully covering most of the island um, and covering the mouse that they didn't catch the first time around. Basically the mice would eat it and uh, they would get sleepy, they would go into their burrows and hopefully they will not wake up again. So it's a very humane way of um, killing the mice um, and then they will also need a team to go in afterwards to go and pick up carcasses and the balance of all the drops that they've done. So this is quite a tedious process and it's going to have to be done in a very compressed way so that they can have maximum impact over the shortest period of time. We're going to go to the island, uh, but I think we're going to stop at about a, a kilometer, I was going to say a thousand, a kilometer away from Marion Island, and we're waiting to hear if we can actually go onto the island. Now, as an animal lover, I would love to go onto the island and experience it, but um, taking 2,000 people with me, I don't think that is a fair thing to do. And um, therefore, I don't think that's going to be possible for us. But let's see what the conservationists come up with for us who might want to go onto the island. Um, there have been a lot of preparation and I'm going to share with you everything that I've learned so far in terms of preparing for this. The first time I heard about this trip is when my husband asked me and said to me, would I like to join him on a pelagic to Marion Island? And... Um, in general, I, I would have said no, but I asked him if it's a big cruise liner because I cannot go on any boat and not get seasick. So he said it's a cruise liner, it's really big. I'm kind of hoping that I'm not going to suffer from seasickness. So I decided that it would be an option that I'd love to consider. So um, then when the tickets became available, everybody was very excited. Um, tickets became available on the 6th of January, 2020. Uh, and we booked our tickets and we didn't know that um, if we are members of MSC's um, Voyager Club, we get a 5% discount. So that's the first tip I want you to learn is that being on this trip uh, you can get a 5% discount through MSC if you are a Voyager Club member prior to your booking. That was the one thing. And the other thing is you couldn't book on this uh, trip unless you were a BirdLife Africa member. So we had to register for BirdLife Africa membership 
So that's also important and I would suggest that you register as a BirdLife Africa member um, so that next time you want to become a part of this trip and you want to do the bookings, you don't become like we did uh, last minute desperate, desperate individuals hoping that we could get our registrations in in time so that we could book on the first day and we can get the cabin that we want and we can get whatever it is we wanted as we make our booking. So those are the first two things that I think was critical for us. The next thing that I believe was critical is getting an understanding of where we want to be on the boat when we make our booking um, and what would be feasible for us. Um, considering that, you know, this is a photography um, mission, my husband's going to be taking all his gear with and he's going to be hanging over the boat trying to spot various uh, uh, wildlife, uh, be it, be it um, sea mammals, uh, fish or birds. He's going to be out and about trying to see and experience this as much as possible. That's why um, we decided to take a balcony uh, cabin, but I think that because my nausea has been uh, an issue for me, we also investigated and found that the best cabin to take for uh, this kind of, uh, um, for our needs, was to take a cabin um, that had a nice view and was in the middle of the ship. So having a cabin in the middle of the ship is best because then you have less rock. Um, and then of, of course also trying to get your cabin as low as possible, um, but with a balcony, um, was the ninth floor so we got a cabin on the ninth floor in the middle of the ship and we're very happy with that um, that was the reason why we took that specific uh, cabin one thing that I believe is still available but very limited is priority boarding so as of today which is the 20th of January um, we managed to get ourselves booked for priority boarding um, that for those of you who don't know and haven't been and don't understand there's 2,000 people who's going to want to get onto that ship in one morning and they're going to have to look at every single person's ID and or passport and their boarding uh, paperwork and you really don't feel like queuing for four hours. Okay, so make sure that you phone MSC and get yourself a ticket for priority boarding it's an extra 150 rand per person and I would say that comes highly recommended. More things I've learned about was things like uh, tipping, uh, internet, uh, uh, needs, luggage, how to pack, how to travel, when to book your flights, where to stay. There's so many things that you need to understand about this trip. So I'm just going to vlog about it. And I hope that whatever Alex and I are going to talk about um, is going to help you so that you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours like I've done to try and make sure that this trip is going to be um, the best trip we can have for this, the, what we've booked it for.